Welcome back to the Fell Engine Project, where I'm building a 3.5 inch gauge live steam locomotive to my own drawings. On this episode, I make the traction wheels, which drive on the centre rail. There are four of these, and they have turned features on both sides of them. I'm going to make these out of some 12mm thick flat bar. I start work over at the horizontal bandsaw, cutting out some flat bar for a pair of wheels each. This will make facing the part faster, reducing setup time. With the flat bar cut, it's time to head over to the mill, where I use a 50mm carbide insert face mill to remove the scale and reduce the part to the required thickness. I take multiple passes, with the cutting depth being up to about 1mm. Once the plate's the thickness, it's cut in half, and the centre is marked for drilling. I start with a spotting drill, that's followed by a 7.5mm drill, and then a reamer at 8mm. The reamer is used well lubricated and at a low RPM. Once the hole's reamed, it's time to set up the rotary table. I fit an MT2 arbor into the centre of the rotary table. This is sized at 8mm take the centre hole we've just reamed. The mill table is well cleaned before the mill vice is unbolted and relocated to make space for the rotary table. The rotary table is then located on the mill table and fixed into place. I then centre the rotary table on the mill and zero the digital readout. The plate is then located on the rotary table and fixed in place with a screw. I've located a fixing in one of the T-slots, which will stop the plate rotating as it's been cut. I use a 12mm end mill, running at about 350 RPM, to cut the plate half the thickness at a time. With the milling complete, I now have a rough blank, which I can use to turn a part in the lathe. If I was making these from round stock, I could have completely dispensed with this process, but I don't have anything this large. Over at the lathe, I've fitted the ER32 collet chuck, along with a straight shank arbor, which I've made, that has an 8mm register to fit the inside of the wheel. Start by turning the blank true. Given I cut these in a single pass on the mill, they're a little bit rough and out of shape, but they're quickly brought true. The 
part is then reduced in size to the required diameter. Once the part's at diameter, I clean up the edges with a lathe file. I then double check the diameter with a micrometer. With it on size, it's time to change lathe tools, moving to a different insert cutter that's suited to cutting the face. With multiple parts to cut, I've set up the digital readout with subdatums for each of the tools I'm using, allowing me to quickly change between tools. I cut the face first from the inside out and then the reverse from the outside in. This allows me to cut the 2mm recess. Recess in the face has curved internal corners. I decided to freehand these using the carriage and cross slide wheels at the same time. This worked pretty well and I just had to tidy it up with some emery cloth. At this point I switched to the opposite facing tool to cut from the outside in. Once again changing the sub datum on my digital readout. This compensates for the change in cutting tip location. Once the part's cleaned up with emery cloth, it's time to flip it over. With the part flipped and secured, I set the digital readout back to the tool I started with, ready to cut the back face. Once the bag's cut the shape, I switch tools to a high speed steel chamfer cutter. I use this to remove the sharp corners. Finally finish the part with emery cloth before removing it from the lathe. And these are the four completed traction wheels, ready for the crankshaft we'll be making in a future episode. I've had comments that I make things look easy to build in these videos. 
Just to show you things don't always go my way, when I was cutting the first of these wheels, I had a little setback. Did you catch that? Hang on, we'll rewind and watch that one again in slow motion. My part wasn't well enough secured, and rotated, breaking the end mill. Oh well, these things happen. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Catch you next time.